so I just, after, after graduating, did a lot of research, did a lot of reading, and honestly just started applying for jobs um, in the corporate field that I thought even remotely would be interesting, A, to get a bit of experience in ap applying for jobs and applications and interviews, um, and also just to s start getting out there. And um, the, the greater sort of realm of talent is what I'm interested in. And I had remotely thought about um, executive search and headhunting as part of that, as a way to get in. And actually, an opportunity just arose. A friend of a friend worked at a recruitment agency in Glasgow, um, offered me an interview. I had two interviews, got the job. Decided to take the job. Recruitment is, is it was and isn't the thing that I wanted to do, but I thought it was somewhere good to start. And it was an opportunity that came up, so I did it. Um, <laughs> Needless to say, it wasn't quite what they said it was going to be. Uh, six months of a recruitment agency, as you can imagine, sort of ate away at my soul every single day. <laughs> so after six months of commuting, of a 10-hour day and commuting to Glasgow, I decided, okay, this is really, really not what I want to do. And I took a really big risk in just quitting the job before having another one because I literally had no time to even search for another job. Turns out that risk was the best thing I ever did in my entire life because a week later I was walking past Skyscanner and now Skyscanner has been a company that I've wanted to work for um, for a long time and decided to look on, at their job site, see what they have up and lo and behold, IT recruiter, so tech recruitment was what I did at the agency, um, IT recruiter sort of consultant was on there and the, the spec was much more for a senior position but I decided to go for it anyway, did a lot of research on the company and um, um, was invited to two interviews and got the job. <laughs> so um, there I'd gone from this little sort of 20 people recruitment agency to the sixth best company to work for in the UK and it was really the best step ever. And uh, one thing that I really noticed was um, throughout this whole time in my master's what had focused me on my talents and what I felt confident in, you know, in, in a mix with my motivations. And in the interviews and in the job search, that helped me massively because while the route that wasn't sure, there was a million, again, a million things that I could have done, what was clear was I knew what I was good at and why a company might want me. And that also, I'm, I'm, I'm very sure, helped me to get a job, especially a job that wasn't actually, I was, didn't have very much experience for. Um, so just a little bit about what I do at Skyscanner, talent acquisition, just main sort of three parts. So obviously Skyscanner is an engineering company, 60% of the positions are to do with tech. And we A, look at all the incoming um, candidates and I take them through their process and the, the salary negotiations and things like that. Um, there's also a lot of stakeholder um, management, talk to the teams, what are their needs. And the third part is sort of events, um, go networking and sort of um, employer branding. So. Um, again, uh, recruitment isn't what I'm going to stay in forever, but it was a brilliant way into the company. Uh, my general idea is I'm going to be moving from talent acquisition into talent development. Um, Skyscanner has a great um, sort of performance um, team in there, so I'm going to hope to move into there. So that's also a really big tip I have is that um, if you don't know the best route or if it's really hard to get to a position very clearly, try ver various different ways, just start in a company that you really enjoy and then work your way towards that. And so the biggest thing I would say is definitely just be really clear, have a good think about what you're good at and what you want to do because that will absolutely focus you in your job search. Mm -hmm.